video. What's going on, guys? It is your boy, Seth Service of Video, here today. Bring you guys a Photoshop Turtle Crush, your very own one minute banner design. We're gonna call it like liquid abstract blob, whatever the title says in the video. As you usually know, we don't know, but I'm gonna try something different in today's video. So basically, you guys are the one minute banner design series. We just take a cool effect and try to make it so that you can do it, of course. And basically, one minute when you guys get it down packed, I wanna lower these times and cut to these videos like super crazy. So you guys let me know this format today's video if it's better for you and it works for you. If it does, leave a like, of course, and a comment down why you might think it not work. But I'm kinda going it's more gonna be like step by step rather than explanatory. So you guys let me know how it is. Regardless, 275 likes in the video, it goes down below, which will be the PSD that you guys see uh, when we guys, of course, design it and all that good stuff. And I already kind of have it already set for you guys for the PSD. And with that being said, let's just get this thing going. Also, stay safe, guys. Corona is no joke whatsoever. I've been quarantined for like two weeks. I'm out of my mind. Look at my hair. Oh my God. All right, let's get this thing going and I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. All right, guys, let's get this thing going right here right now. So the first thing, of course, that we're in, and we are in a Twitter header dimension, and that is 3,000 by 1,000 pixels when it comes to what the actual uh, desk, uh, document size is. So the first thing is the background here is actually this nice purple. So this purple here is this hex tone right here. So with this hex tone, we're going to go ahead and make a new layer. And the way we're going to do it, we're going to select with a nice soft brush this color right here, that starting color, and move this hue bar once over here, one notch, either up or down first. I'm gonna start with my first one being up, press okay. Right, now with this new brush, I'm gonna kinda make myself a nice little gradient, kind of like curve the edge of this side. Then I'll make another new layer, and then take the same default color again, but then this time, for like going up, I'm gonna go down a little bit, like a bit, like a very, very little notch, and I'm gonna take another new layer and give myself a nice little notch down here, and we kinda have ourselves a very simple base purple. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and make another new layer and I'm going to go use the rectangle, not the rectangle marquee tool, but the ellipse marquee tool. And with this here, I'm going to click on the middle of my canvas somewhere and hold alt and shift as I'm clicking and dragging to put my circle right in the middle. I'm going to make a fairly big size brush, just like so. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to change my foreground to black and then press alt backspace to quick fill it in, control D to deselect, and then I'm going to go hide my rulers. But now with this circle here, I'm going to make a new layer and then this new layer, I'm going to clip mask this new layer. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just choose my colors here. I have over here as well. So here are the hex tones for these colors I'm using right here, just like this. Cool, so I'm actually gonna start off with the blue. Take this, the left-hand side of this circle here, kind of give myself a little over here. Take the pink on the bottom. We're gonna take this like peachy color more on the top. And I'm gonna take this orange. I think I'm gonna put a little more pigment in it though. Take this orange and put this right around here. Now I have a nice simple kind of like Aurora kind of circle going on. All right, so now with this circle, we're gonna be taking this, grouping this together and making a copy of this circle. Now with this actual circle, we're taking it and making a duplicate of it. And then I'm gonna go to where it says filter, liquefy. And then with these liquefy, these blobs, I'm gonna basically be using the fourth tab first to give it a little bit of a twirl, right? Give it a nice little organic shape. Now we're not really looking to make really fun, like crazy things like this. We're gonna wanna go outside the canvas. We wanna make sure we kind of assist these blobs just to be more inside their little zone here and kind of like just kind of stretch it out a little bit there. A little bit here and make these nice pretty organic shapes when you're done you press ok and then you have these nice little shapes to assist put one over here and then you basically want to do this one or two more times and uh, get just another one on this right hand side over here all right guys now once you guys have your blobs in the top right and the left hand side i'm going to take one more duplicate of this circle just like so and then go to filter liquify now within liquify i want to take this circle and i want to go ahead and just keep, give myself a nice little oval kind of uh shape to get all these colors mixed together and then you want to take it and kind of pull your mouse top right top left to get as many colors as possible in there but basically give yourself a nice cool crescent kind of shape here right and I'll say something like this is pretty good. Do a little bit of a swirl at the end. Kind of just, of course, starting from the top and letting it flow th all the way through. I would say something like that might be good enough. Let's just actually see, press okay. And all we really want to do is just see if it kind of uh, fits through. If we put it like somewhere around here. And then of course below the circle. And I would say like, honestly, that's actually pretty good. I'm not, I'm not upset with that. Of course, the many more colors you get, the more uh, attention you guys do to when it comes to the actual uh, blob themselves is you get the better result, honestly. All right, guys. So when you guys are now at this stage, you want to take your circle copy, which is basically the last, uh, layer you guys should have. You want to press control, alt, shift, and E on your keyboard. That'll merge everything together. Now with these now merged layers in this one single layer, we want to make sure we add on a nice little convert to smart object. And then we want to go to filter 
and then we'll go to filter gallery and then you want to have your settings be on artistic and we want to use plastic wrap now the settings we want to have for this plastic wrap is around 15 2 and 15 if you guys want to go in and i actually will go to do 13 but play with your settings have fun with it you get way more different results of course when you change things around we're going to press ok though and we're going to also take this and put a layer mask on it then we're going to with this layer mask of course we're going to want to delete some stuff around so i'm going to take a black brush with this layer mask and delete some things we don't want too much kind of going on here we just want this nice cool rendered kind of fun 3d uh bevel uh bezel to it right i'm going to take all this and basically go around and erase sections that you know just don't look too appealing like right here doesn't look too appealing go through the actual tire banner and erase all this stuff and then of course come back when you guys are good to go All right, now once you guys have it all erased and all that good stuff, you want to add a little bit of adjustments. We're going to go to where it says vibrance. We're going to add a little bit of vibrance and a little bit of saturation. Then we're going to go ahead and make another new layer. Then we're going to take a brush here, a nice soft brush. Select the color around the actual canvas by holding Alt. Take your color. Make it a little bit darker, of course. Just bringing the actual little circle here down. Then we want to go in here and kind of highlight this little area here. Then we're going to change it from normal to linear dodge add. Give ourselves a nice little glow on the orange. We want to basically add this around the actual place where this, of course, is orange, like right around here a little bit. Add a little around here a little bit. Right, and they want to do this for multiple colors. I'm going to do it for one more color, and that's going to be, uh, let's just say, the blue. Let's just do a little bit of blue action here. Take this, make it a little more darker, and put our color in here as well, just like this. A little bit of blue there. Highlight here as well would be nice. Right, make it look almost like candy like, which is a really cool little effect. Right, then we got ourselves that looking pretty good. Actually, put a text in here as well. Right, okay, we're looking pretty good. I think the last little part we're gonna do here is taking everything below this text layer. So, don't mind the text layer. We're gonna press Control, Alt, Shift, and E. So, click on the top layer that we just finished off doing, which is that uh, most likely gonna be the brush layer. So, we're gonna take this layer now that's all everything basically put in together. We're gonna go to where it says filter, blur. Gaussian blur put your settings about 1.5 pixels then of course we're going to use another layer mask and make your layer mask pure black so this is currently white we're going to make it pure black now this is because basically be saying it's all erased so if we take a white brush and get in here and get all, all these really weird kind of like places where it's a little bit too sharp or a little bit weird like scenarios like right here we can just blur that out a little bit scenarios right here we can blur that out right so all these little spots that you just don't think it looks good you can just give yourself uh give it a little bit of a blur and uh, you should be good. All right, now once you guys are all done, you're pretty much you pretty much are done. So right, I'm gonna take this, take my vibrance once again, and oddly enough, I'm just gonna take my vibrance here and lower this down just a little bit here, put my saturation up just a little bit like so, give myself a little more of that kind of uh, uh, how do you say tie dye kind of esque kind of feel. Right, and then you have something like this, and I think you're pretty much done. You got yourself a nice, cool, clean, very weird abstract blob kind of effect. So, basically, right, just so you guys know, don't be afraid to change around and mess around with your blobs, all that good stuff. Of course, the more you time, more uh, more time you take on your blobs, the better they do look. And let me know in the comment section below if you guys like the style of me kind of moving a little bit quicker. Apologies for that. Appreciate you, Devin, for purchasing. Got you. Ah, a little shout out action. But yo, just like give yourself a nice little kind of uh, maybe a few minutes on each blob. You're going to get a really nice effect. So let me know in the comments below if you guys like it. And uh, yeah, talk to you guys later. Sensu HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. I know it's hard for this coronavirus stuff going on here, but just stay as productive as possible. Be as healthy as possible. Eat as much as you guys need to. Enjoy yourselves. It's not a vacation. Just leave it as like a nice place to kind of get yourself settled, good to go, and ready when you guys, of course, can leave and enjoy yourselves that you're just like, you're still in that momentum. So keep that in mind. Love you guys. Peace. Okay, shh, there's a little bit of an Easter egg. So I'm gonna say something really quick. So let's go back all the way back to where we only have a circle. Then you can take this, we'll make the circle a little bit bigger. We'll make another circle right below it, but may actually make it a shadow, right? A little bit of a shadow action here. We're gonna make a nice little circle below it. Let's take a purple, drag it a little bit down. Shadow action, now we have a little bit of a blur going on here for the shadow. Now with this, we can take this, then you can just add some little bit of UI elements around in like different areas, and you have a completely different look, a completely different feel, and it could just be like, it could just look really freaking cool if you just add a little bit of UI elements around. That's just like another style and idea. Didn't want to put in the video until the end because this is just one of those other things you can explore with. Enjoy. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.